everybody, I'm Meg. This video is probably gonna suck because it's my first booktube kind of thing. I also have a bad cold, so sorry. So today I'm gonna do my favorite 14 books of 2014. All right, let's get started. Okay, my first one, oh, by the way, these are in no particular order. My first one is Percy Jackson's Greek Gods by Rick Riordan. This is a very awesome book, very big book. And I don't know, it's told in Percy Jackson's point of view and it's just so good and it's just, ah, I loved it, okay. Okay, next we have Lex Beginnings by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Okay, this was such a fun book. It was uh, basically two books in one, but I'm counting it as one book. It's it has to do with aliens, but it's not really sci-fi. It kind of reminded me of Twilight, but funnier. It's really good. I totally suggest it. Next I have The Giver, which I finally picked up this year. Um, as expected, I did love it, although the ending made me furious, but other than that, I really liked it. So, <laughs> yeah. Next, I have Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle. I actually just finished this one, like, last week. It was so good. Like, okay, everything John Green writes is pretty much awesome, but this book, like, I don't know why I loved it so much. Like... Uh, I just couldn't put it down and all of the stories were so cute and okay So basically there's three stories written by three different authors and they all kind of tie together. I'd say my favorite was The one by John Green and then after that the one by Maureen Johnson and then lastly the Lauren Miracle one But they were all awesome five out of five stars for this one. I loved it and it's definitely one of my favorites this year Next we have The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. This is a three book series and I did read all three of them. This was my favorite of the series because it was so good and the love story was so cute. And at the same time though, it was so dark and dreary, but it was awesome and funny at the same time. So, yeah. Next we have Prodigy and Champion. These are book two and three of the Legend series. Um, not that I didn't like Legend, but these were my favorite of the series. So they're the ones that are going to be included in my top 14 of 2014. Oh, this series, guys, is so good. I really suggest these if you're into like dystopian and like action. And ugh, oh, five out of five for this one. This one more like a four and a half, but they're still really good. Okay, next I have The Blood of Olympus by Rick Riordan. I'm not going to say this is my favorite of the series because it really isn't, but I had to keep, I had to put it in. You know what I mean? Like, the series is so good. It's my favorite, one of my favorite series of all time, so how could I not include the last book in the series in my top 14 of 2014? If you haven't read Percy Jackson, what are you doing with your life? Like, it is so amazing. Like, uh, I just, it's my favorite series of all time. Yeah, Percy Jackson is my favorite series, and... <sighs> The conclusion was not really what I hoped, but it was still an amazing book and a good conclusion to the series. And uh, I wish it wasn't over. So yeah, Blood of Olympus. <clears throat> Alright, next I have We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I don't know if you can see it because it's on my Kindle. So can you see it? Yeah? Now can you see it? Alright, We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This book was so amazing, like I read it in one night, and it's like a good like 240 pages long, so I was committed to finishing it because it was that good. You cannot stop reading it once you start, and the characters are just uh, so unpredictable, and the story is just so unpredictable, like you don't know what's going to happen. And um, uh, it's definitely one of, my, uh, one of my, in the top like five this year. It was so amazing and so unpredictable, and... Uh, you try to theorize it's going to happen in this book, and no matter what, you're going to always be wrong. So, it was amazing. Okay. Next, we have Princess in Love by Meg Cavett. Now, I usually... Can you see it? Okay. Usually, I don't read girly, like, really girly, girly, kind of froofy books. But for some reason, this series is just... I don't know why, but I loved it. And I started reading it a few years back, and then I kind of stopped reading it. Because I was kind of young for the series still. But, um... So I started picking it up again this year, and I finally got to this book, and this book in particular, <laughs> I don't know, I read it all in one day, and the love story just, ah, it, it was just so good. I don't know how to explain it, but 
If you haven't heard The Princess Diaries, I don't know what you're doing. I mean, they made movies of it, and the books are super good, and Meg Cabot's writing style is just hilarious, and just all in all, a really, really good series that I still need to finish, but uh, this is my favorite book so far. Yeah. <laughs> Next, I have my number one favorite series of this year. The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Every single one of these books so far has been fantastic and I cannot believe I did not discover it sooner. It's about an assassin named Selena and she's captured and she's sent to the salt mines to work. But the prince comes and gets her because they need an assassin for the kingdom. And then there's like this competition like of all these assassins and they have to compete to be like the number one assassin. It's, oh, it's so good. And the cover may not be the best, but don't let that turn you away because they change the covers, guys. Let me show you. Crown of Midnight is the second book in the series, and as you can see, total cover change. And I'm so glad, because this just shows how good the book is going to be. It shows a girl with knives, and she's fighting, and you just know that's going to be a great book. The third book in the series is Air Fire, and this one just came out a few months ago, and it is the biggest in the series so far, but it's also amazing. I don't know which book is my favorite in the series. I think probably the first one, but this one is definitely my second favorite in the series. It's so good, and I just, I love it so much. And then, lastly in the series, we have, we have The Assassin's Blade. This is a story of prequels, and it's basically what Selena's life was before she was captured and put in the salt mines. And, oh my gosh, it, it's, it's so amazing. Like, throughout these books, these books right here, you're like shipping these two characters so hard, right? And then this one introduces an entirely new person, and you love him so much, and now you're just confused. I'm confused. It's amazing. All right. Stand up. Okay, take the camera. I'm going to try to hold all the books in my hand at once. Okay, here we go. Go ahead, give me all the books. You got this. <laughs> Is it working? Okay, give me the other ones, quick. <laughs> okay, and the Kindle. Wait, stop. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, stop. Okay, and the Kindle, quick. <laughs> okay, so that concludes the video. These are my top 14 books of 2014. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully I'll have another video up soon. Please keep watching my videos. I'm new to BookTube, but I'm going to get better at this video thing. Bye!